it's Kylie Batucci Stamping Up demonstrating in Australia and we're live everyone! <laughs> Everyone got their Beverageinos? It's Beverageino time! Look at all of you here. Hi Kelly! Hi Bruno! Bruno's here already so Bruno's going to be moderating today. If you have any questions Bruno's here. I, I tend to miss it once I start crafting. <laughs> Hi Caitlin! Oh, Rissa's here as well. Carrie, no. Patricia, Donna. So nice to see all of you here. It has been a crazy week. So busy. So many things happening. Um, we This week I attempted to make Korean. Yes, I've done some Korean cooking this week. I made my first beef bulgogi. And I also made Korean pancakes. I don't know the Korean name, but it's very similar to Okonomiyaki. So I have to get the Korean name for the pancakes. They were delicious. They're still going. They're perfect for lunches. Bruno can just help himself. And completely vegetarian. They're all just veggies with a little bit of pancake mix. Very yummy. And also tried out the Korean fried chicken. If you haven't tried... KFC Korean fried chicken, the original KFC, then you need to get some in your belly because it's really delicious with like a sweet sticky chili sauce that goes on top. It's really, really yummy. And I even tried a new cake this week. It was like an, a citrus, orange, lemon, almond meal, panko breadcrumbs cake. <laughs> And big thanks to Michaela Toothridge for that recipe because she gave me that recipe. So thanks, Michaela. We've, we've all got Thermomixes, so I've been cooking up a storm. It's been very exciting. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, some of you may not realize this, but my dad was a chef and my brother is also a chef. So we grew up in a, a chefy household and we love, love, love. And Bruno's family, like mum... Bruno's mum, Jeanette, is just like the best cook ever. So we have been surrounded by yummy food our whole life. So yes, we do love to have good food and lots of fun times. So <laughs> yes, so that was a lot of fun this week. I had lots of adventures, <laughs> lots of new cooking. You've had the Korean pancakes, Patricia. Yum. And there was like a beautiful sesame soy dressing like a you know dip that you put on top and it was so delicious they love the garlic and the chili and and Bruno's at the moment he's got um some cabbage in brine cabbage and radishes and carrots sitting in brine and he's going to do his own kimchi it's our first time ever so I'm going to use the gochujang paste the red bean paste and make an amazing kimchi our own kimchi so that's going to be lots of fun too so there's always something happening around here something new to try something adventurous some adventure to go on even if we're not traveling at the moment <laughs> there that's that's what we can do we can bring to korea korea to us yes it's the best way to do it so did some of you notice my beautiful Bruno Batucci designed Love It Chop It Cup here. Uh, just like to give you a heads up, people, that Bruno has put them in the store. What store you're saying? There's very few there. So I'm just going to give you a link to the store, but then I'll also give you a link to the, to the cups in case you want to get yourself a little Beveragino cup just like mine. I know, come and live with us, Rebecca. <laughs> So I'll see here. Oh, yeah, there it is there. I see it on the home page. He's called it Mug. Oh, yes, there's there's a few mugs here to choose from. He's just started with the Love It Chop It for now. I love it. Good job, Bruno. Chop it. Good morning, Megan Lacorny. So there's the link to the Love It Chop It cup. So have fun. <laughs> <laughs> go shopping <laughs> sorry at the moment it's only in Australia we're still we're still working with um yeah 
how to get it overseas for all the rest of you. It's just a bit of an issue with mugs. Yeah, sorry, Angie. Oh, Korean barbecue. <gasps> yes, you do need to go and open, go and have a look. Uh, and Bruno put it in the description as well. Thank you, Bruno. You're very organized. Hello, Martha. Good to see you, Angie. And I, hopefully we've got rid of all the spammers now too because I realized that there was a couple of settings that weren't quite right. So hopefully we won't have any rude spammers and trolls this live. Um, I think because we'd gone live to Facebook, it changed a few of the settings. So might be why there was a few issues. Now I want to show you some cards. If you're not on our Instagram, P.S. This is our Crazy Crafters exclusive mug, by the way. And we've had a few Crazy Crafters. I think Leanne might even be here. She joined up yesterday. But we've had a few Crazy Crafters join us uh, this month with the special. Smart people, I say, because it's like $116.50 of in-colour products for free. And there's also the extra $66 for free plus free postage when you join our team this month. If you have any questions about the joining special anywhere in your country, please, or any country, please ask us. We're happy to help you because we genuinely feel wherever you are in the world and whoever you join up with, we don't even care if it's not us. Um, we just feel it's the best option and the best special you can possibly get because you get the 20% off minimum it does go higher and you get lots of free stuff. You're not locked in. Some people think that you somehow have to stay a demonstrator forever. No, you can, you can resign anytime you like. Um, there's quarterly minimums that you need to meet, but it's like any wholesaler. If you want to continue to get the wholesale price or a cheaper reduction, then you need to continue to spend. I think that's fair enough. Um, if you don't end up spending, you can just come back as a customer. You miss out on the discount, but you can still shop. <laughs> you can still come and come and have fun. There's Leanne. Welcome, Leanne. Bruno just packed up something special for you. Ah! And a few other things too. You're going to have a bit of fun. Maybe some pins and some ba a bag. Ooh! <laughs> so yes, we have lots of exciting things that we do for our team. Um, and I noticed that Jessica Hart is here. Hello, Jessica Hart. Welcome. Um, Jessica did the most amazing team craft class for us on Zoom. I think it was last week. A week has flown so quickly. Um, but it was brilliant. She showed us how to do some pocket cards. So that's something that we do for our team as well. Like a monthly Zoom craft class that we catch up and see each other from all around Australia. So yeah, very special. Now, Susan did mention something that she does follow us on Instagram and she saw all of Bruno's masculine cards. He has done an amazing job with all his reels this week too. So I'll just put up the Instagram link. Um, go over there and have a little look because he's got lots of really quick um, reels of cards that he's made using the, I think it's Brood For You, isn't it, this one? So he's got some great ones here. Um, this one here was another winner with the the squares. You're a classic. And I think this one here, that might be, oh, no, maybe you did stamp that one, Bruno. Oh, no, I think that's one of the designer series paper pop-outs, that one there. And there's this one here. This reminds us of Pasquale. Bruno's dad makes his own red wine. And this is actually on embossed on the brick so it sort of reminds us of an Italian household because Bruno's house for a very long time um, didn't have plaster on the inside it actually had brick on the inside of the house and Bruno's dad made the house so yeah everything about this card just reminds me of Bruno's dad um, which is very special and then he's got the hello handsome this is the card that Bruno made for himself 
<laughs> he kept looking at it going, hello, handsome. <laughs> well, I think he's handsome anyway. <laughs> and this one here is so cute. I love all the colors and so much fun. They're absolutely, and the interesting thing with this product, I think they're not even a, a sweet, I think it's just a bundle in the brand new annual catalog, but Brunner just got so inspired. He just could not stop creating with it. And it wasn't something he necessarily thought he was going to be able to create with. And it just flowed. It just kept going. So he kept going, which is very exciting. And then that was the very latest one that just went up. And he used the hops. That's the hop um, dye in um, that bundle. And it just looks so different to all the others like it yeah gorgeous so he's done a really really good job of all of those cards so definitely head over to Instagram so you can see those reels that he's made and give him some love he keeps checking every day to see how many people have watched his reels so <laughs> yes <laughs> he like Bruno's handsome cards <laughs> yeah I really love the I think for me my favorites are the one that remind me of dad and yeah that one is very fun that one but yeah they're all fantastic like I know I know some male friends that would absolutely love this card I think it's brilliant in Australia we love our beer so we have a lot of friends that we know that would love that so yes it's brilliant very very exciting and it kind of reminds us I think um, when we went to Alaska, we got to go to the Alaskan beer brewery and we're not big beer drinkers, but I tell you what, that was one of the most brilliant tours that we've ever been on and their beers are just absolutely incredible. I don't know if any of you have been to the Alaskan beer brewery and they don't sell anywhere outside of North America, I don't think. So it's very difficult to try the beer because they're a microbrewery and they don't they don't sell worldwide. So it's like the only way we get to try the beer is when we go to Alaska, which we've only done twice, but it's pretty exciting to have gone twice. So very cool. And even just the the way that they do their merchandise and the, yeah, the advertising, it's so cool. It's such a cool place. So yeah, if you ever get to Alaska, definitely go and check out that brewery. Now, um, what else did I want to share with you? What else have we got happening? Oh, yes, I did want to show you the store because I want to share with you the latest tutorial bundle because I don't think I shared it with you last time because we have a brand new tutorial bundle that we bring out every month. So I'll just share this with you. Da -da. So this is our Shopify store. So I'll share this link with you. Now, when you come over to this store, this is different to our Stampin' Up! store. This is pretty much the best way to explain this one is that it's our digital retired products and merchandise. This is a special little store that we've set up. And we've got pins. We've got lots of tutorials. We've got retired products that we can only sell the retired products to Australia. Um, but the pins we've started selling overseas as well now. We've found that it's working well with Sendal. So any of these enamel pins here, you can get the Love It Chop It pin. Um, even the online stamp and retreat. This is going to be an exclusive um, style of pin. Um, because each time that we do the online stamp and retreat, it will be a different style, different colour. Um, but yeah, you can get the um, all-star tutorial bundles. There's 12 in each bundle. And this is our very latest one here, the flowering fields. So you can see it's absolutely stunning. My one, I decided to change the flowers into grass. And I use that pretty biker colored that in with blends. But yeah, you can get lots and lots of great ideas on how to use these beautiful products. Um, Rachel Tessman always does such an incredible job. Look at Jackie Williams flowers. You can learn how she sponged them and what she did. Sue Vine, so talented. Emma Goddard, 
we've got Wendy Lee. So some absolutely gorgeous, we can see Karen's done some sort of exciting fun fold card there. So lots and lots of great inspiration. You get videos that come with it as well. And these projects are exclusive. You will not find them anywhere else. <clears throat> Excuse me. You won't find them anywhere else online. And they're exclusive to us. So um, when you come here, you'll actually see that there's a drop down and you can choose all different ones. So each time you click, you'll see different types of tutorials that come up abstract beauty. So if you're looking at getting a suite of products, this is a great way to get all the inspiration you need from an entire suite. And then it's all exclusive as well. So yeah, heads up on that. Just come over to our little shop and I'll pop up the shop for you so that you can see all that. And if you have any questions about our retired products, if you live in Australia, we do discount the products so you can go over there and have a bit of a shop but you know don't you want to shop for the new things <laughs> time to go shopping for the new <laughs> I'll just bring this over yes you love that tutorial bundle oh you're on Rachel's team Sherry she seriously Rachel is just so clever how she does that and good question that Lena asked she said how do we get the tutorial bundles for free so you can get these tutorial model, uh, bundles, I was going to say mungles, <laughs> I've got mugs on my mind. Um, if you shop with us, any value on our, not the retired product store, but on our Stampin' Up! store, if you shop with us, you will get uh, a tutorial bundle for free. Or if you're joined to our direct team, you also get the tutorials for free. Very good question, Lena. Thank you. So every time you place an order, that's um, you'll get the tutorial of the month, which is very exciting because we love to support you all in your stamping creative adventure. You know, you need support. Uh, so we've got tutorials. Well, I'll put here the um, digital store, digital merchandise, digital merchandise store. <laughs> I'll put and <laughs> so you don't think it's digital merchandise <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes oh that's brilliant oh thanks Carolyn or Caroline <laughs> one of my friends missed out on the turtle punch so I managed to snag that from your store brilliant yeah definitely always come and check our store first and see if there's something there that you need or someone that needs something Maybe you're a demonstrator, one of your customers is looking for something. So, yes, please do. Oh, Donna just ordered two mugs and Caitlin just ordered mugs. Woo! Bruno's going to be very excited. He'll be like, oh, I have to get sublimating. <laughs> he did a whole batch the other day. He actually burnt himself really bad on one of these mugs. He had a big blister. Oh, it was huge. Fortunately, we had lavender oil. Very good quality lavender oil that seemed to have calmed it down. But yes, he he put his fingerprint on someone's. You could copy his DNA on one of your mugs. <laughs> yes, I'm sure we will, Lena. Bruno's probably already got it in there. He can let you know. He's very efficient. As soon as he receives it, he puts the order in. So very good. Now, what else do I need to tell you? I think it's time to create, right? <laughs> it's creation time. Yee! So today I am using, as the title says, I did have a laugh last week. Someone said, um, I love the heading. It says quick and easy cards. And the, and the video says two hours. <laughs> and I actually commented. I said, yes, that is a bit funny. If I didn't talk, then it would have been a quick and easy card. <laughs> but I like to talk along with everyone. <laughs> but I did find that very funny. <laughs> She's like, quick and easy, really? <laughs> Why is this video two hours? <laughs> doesn't doesn't look so quick and easy after all. <laughs> yes. So yes, we're playing with the masking tape today, which is a brand new product from Stampin' Up. And I do like to play with these sort of new products because we don't necessarily always know what to do with some of these new products. If we haven't used them before or um, used these particular ones before, 
So I'm going to give you a bit of an honest review on the Stampin' Up! ones because of course every company has different types and different, um, yeah, the different products. So one thing that Bruno and I found, because he's got a card coming up, he played with the masking tape yesterday. Um, and yes, you can order the pins from everywhere. Ooh! Angie, you can get the pins anywhere in the world now. Very exciting. The postage is not very, very nice, but if you get them in a bulk lot, it's not so bad. It works out the same as postage in Australia if you get like more than three. So maybe get a little bulk lot and send them to your friends. <laughs> Here's a gift because <laughs> I love you. Love you and chop you. Oh, no, don't chop your friend. <laughs> but this is the size. It's a very interesting size and it has a... Um, a seam line down the middle here for easy peeling. Now one thing that Bruno and I did find is it is a little bit sticky for our liking. Um, you do have to be careful when you're peeling it off the card. So one thing I'm going to try today is using the embossing buddy. Now sadly Stampin' Up! doesn't have an embossing buddy we're hoping that they will in the future, but at this point in time, they don't. So if you live in Australia, we do have some embossing buddies there um, because I think it will actually, yeah, I think it will actually just soften a bit. But anyway, we'll have a play and we'll have a look. So do you want to see the prototype that I made up last night? I'm going to do like a variation of this card. I just had a play last night. So one of the things that the girls challenged me to use, because in my team, when we did our catalogue walkthrough together, was this cute set here. It's a standalone stamp set. It doesn't have dies. And it's something that I think you could miss in the catalogue because there is so many beautiful things in the catalogue. Um, but I saw this and just thought, that is so much fun. Like it just took me straight back to the like the 50s. Um, even the 40s maybe, <laughs> even the 60s, but it's such a fun, happy set and it straight away reminded me of summer and it's very cold here in Melbourne at the moment, so I need to be reminded of warm, happy bathers weather. So this is the card that I made using the masking. You ready for it, everyone? <gasps> this is what I do to Bruno. You ready to see my card, hun? So he, all he gets is this. And then I go, oh, look at that. So this is what we're going, you know, kind of a prototype of this. I just had a bit of a play. But isn't that fun being able to do the sponging? I've used the brushes in the background. And this is a one dimension card. And it actually is simple stamping. So. If you're new to stamping, you do not need the stamp and cut and emboss machine for this card. Um, it's a great beginner's card, to be honest, because it's all one layer. You don't even do dimensionals. There's no dimensionals here. But I'm going to do a little bit of a stepped up version of this one and use some designer series paper as well. And depending on how we go for time, we might see, you know, we might see what we can do with some designer series paper or something like that or other other stamps as well because I think this could go you can copy this like all my cards you can copy this with any of our beautiful stamps like you know any of them will work with this you just change up that color and you've got a really really great simple card yes I know ah oh, really she didn't know she didn't get the set because I drew a blank. That's Audrey. Yeah, it's a, it's just a bit of fun. And I think if I used even like retro colors, I think it will. Yeah, because I sort of thought of, you know, those sort of browns and yellow. Like, yeah, sort of like the 40s colors. I have to look them up again. But let's jump in. Hey, I love that. Caitlin said, <laughs> someone said Dina was talking too much. Yeah, if you don't like talking, this is not your channel. <laughs> Please move along. <laughs> if you want fast, quick videos, head over to our Instagram. 
they go for 60 seconds on Instagram. That's the place for you. YouTube is not the place for you. YouTube is our grab of Evergino and let's hang out with friends. That's what YouTube is for me. It's our little community. So yes, I love you all chilling with me and hopefully chopping with me. You can do some chopping. You can craft along if you want. But yeah, you want fast? Go to Instagram. It has some music, no talking and 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do this peeps <laughs> i've had my super coffee i'm all i'm all ready to go <laughs> i'm just getting my light ready because yeah i want to make sure that it's all happy agree go to silence <laughs> go somewhere else this is not your channel <laughs> we're not your people <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to bring this little chair over here so I can pop things on here so that I don't lose them all. I'll still lose them all. You know what, will, everyone? So you can see here, this is where I was. When I get new stamps, I like to really stamp them in and give them a good stamp. Ah, oh, thanks, Susan. You like the reels. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm thinking is this exact same sort of layout, but what I thought would be nice, if you have our card templates tutorial, and hopefully you've cut them up and used them all, I'll bring out my ones for our country. But I thought it would be nice to do something like, so I'll have the card face in the gorgeous grape, these are the names of the measurements, by the way, not the colours that I'm using. If you're not, if you're new to our card templates, um, and I think I want to do something like because I want more space. I want more to put some paper behind there. So I think I'm going to do paper in poppy parade, and then I think I'm going to go down to maybe this size or. I think even lower actually what's the next one down from daffodil delight let's see here oh I think I might have found one yes I think it might be this one let's have a look at this layering so I want to have some designer series paper sort of sticking out from behind just as an accent I still want this piece to be the hero. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Granny and pool party layer. See how I can I can actually eyeball, like, is it going to be, is it going to show enough of the designer series paper? So the designer series paper, and this is before I cut it, because once I chop my paper, that's it, I've chopped it, and it may not be the size that I want. So... I'm just taking my time to work out my measurements before I chop, which saves a lot of waste and it gives me an exact measurement because I've written the measurements on the back, but you can just pop yours on the front. I don't put them on the front because I don't want to confuse those people that don't use metric measurements because we all use different measurements all around the world. So yeah, I think that would be really good. And I think what might be nice to use for the paper is this one here I think could be a little bit difficult to work out what you're going to do with it and I think this paper would be perfect with a card like this because it's kind of got that feel of you know designer series uh like a party I just felt it was the perfect because sometimes this can be a little bit OTT when over the top when it's on its own so I think this might be the way to go we've also got some of the beautiful orchid oasis here um, which also could be a nice one but I think we'll use this is the Tahitian Tide which I have actually used in the card so let's have a look at that we can always come back the other thing that you I think would be nice with this one is our other in color pack so you may not realize that these are in color packs, designer series paper in color packs. 
which actually both of these come with the starter kit for free at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Bruno may be able to confirm or deny my claim. I'll check actually, because I'm I know that you get lots of free in colour product and I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Uh, where will I find that info? I know where. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, don't quote me. <laughs> I must confirm. <laughs> I confirm before I deny. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh no, that's not that one. In colour, we want the joining special. Yay! In colour starter kit. Okay, let's have a little look here at the information from Stampin' Up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. You don't get the glitter. Just the in colour paper. So I'll share this screen with you so that you can see it. This is what you get currently. So when you sign up, from the 3rd to the 31st of May, I'll just zoom in a little bit here. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can zoom in. Here we go. Let's go over here. Whee! So you're not seeing it twice. Um, so yes, you get the ink colour grid paper, the cardstock, the ink pads, and then the paper, all for free which is amazing when you join in May. So if you're thinking about getting some freebies, this is the way you can get it. <laughs> so yeah, so that's good to know. Just an FYI in case you, were, um, you weren't you were aware of that, that there's this beautiful in colour paper. But I thought if I was going to use any of this paper, I think the dots would be really fun with this because it would sort of bring out and match with that gorgeous outfit there, or even even the stripes, because you've got your stripes with your bathers there. Yeah, either one of those would look really, really nice. This might, this might work, but it might be, yeah, I think those two work the best with what we're looking for. Yeah, perfect. And there is flowers too, actually. They're quite cute. So yeah, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy, whatever you you prefer. But you can just swap it around, or even make it a couple of times till you get like the look that you're after. But there's no wrong or right either, which is really fun. You can um, yeah, you can play around, do the same card a number of times until. Yeah, you've exhausted all of your creative inspiration. So let's have a bit of choppy chop with paper. Now with this type of paper, the glimmer paper, it is very full on and it can dull your trimmer blades. So just a note to self, we recommend cutting it this way round. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's a really nice one. Okay, trimmer, come over here, little one. Just the DSP, yes. So let's cut this one up. I think, yeah, we'll do the Tahitian Tide. So I've done all my work here with my layers and worked out exactly what layers I want. So the gorgeous grape measurement base is going to be orchid opulence sorry orchid oasis <laughs> it's going to take a long time to undo that orchid oasis orchid oasis orchid oasis <laughs> then i've got the next layer is going to be the shimmer so let's cut that i'm doing that at poppy parade size now i want the ombre to go downwards if I can. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. But I'm just going to, it means I'm going to be chopping into this in two different directions. But I think that's worth it because I want it to be dark to light or light to dark, whatever. I'm going to cut off a little bit more of the light. So if we go 
Let's have a little look here that I've got it cut. Yes, good. And that little piece here, I'm going to use on the inside of my card to decorate this one because I did it late last night. Oh, <gasps> nude, nudie. It's a bit of a nudie run. <laughs> Stop flashing yourself. <laughs> so what do you think of that combo? I actually don't mind it, but we'll see. We'll see if we move to Tahitian Tide base. <laughs> now the next one is our basic black is going to be the granny apple size and then the pool party is going to be the basic white size. So get your measurements from our templates. If you don't have our card template tutorial, then please look at getting that so you can have all the measurements you need in your country, in your cardstock size. Because otherwise I would be mentioning three different measurements every time I do this and it would hurt my little brain I'm not good at math but I want to give you all an opportunity to craft along with me so that's what I've come up with I might do this one just yes uh, so say with this piece of paper here I'll just show you how handy the templates are say with this one here you're not sure how to cut like what's the best way to use this paper and which way do you cut it? So you can actually see here that by cutting it this way, you've got a lot better, you know, you've got a lot more left over. Whereas if I cut it this way, I could be wasting a whole lot of extra paper, depending on what I'm going to use this for. But I think for me, this seems the most efficient way to cut this cardstock. And having the card templates really help you to visualise like which way is the best way to cut it um, so that you're utilising your and minimising the amount of waste. Like look at that big piece there that you have left over. If I cut it in a different direction, then I would ha wouldn't have as much. And look at that. That's a tiny little bit of leftover piece rather than a big weird piece that you don't know what to do with. So very handy so that's going to be oh did I cut that too yes I cut it too big I cut it the pool party size I mean the granny apple green size so I'll just cut it down a little bit more a couple of millimeters just for a very nice little layer here there we go now Bruno's watching all of your comments. Once I start crafting, I go into the zone. But if we miss any of your comments, please just message us. Just email us. There was a someone last week that was asking a question. She said, I felt very sad because no one answered me. Oh, look how good that looks. <gasps> so pretty. I actually like it on here, the Orchid Oasis, Orchid Oasis. I do like it. Now, Bruno taught me this last week. He's like, oh, I've had a, I've had, had an epiphany that if you flip your trimmer over, oh, I don't have my watch on Bruno. I need to put my watch on so he can radio me during my lives because sometimes he, he tells me something and I'm like, no, can't, I don't even read Bruno's messages. But you can see here how it's up in the corner and you can go like so because the other side of the trimmer has an edge <clears throat> so you can use the trimmer or the stamparatus but this is a really great way of getting that beautiful crisp lined up edge so very handy Bruno Batucci just flip your trimmer over and you get that perfect edge that makes you look like an absolute professional. So just a note, note to self, pop that over there. I love our new Stampin' Up! trimmer, even though it's not new, I'm like, oh, just love it. So that is our fun colors there. And if you wanted to, what you could do is even add another layer in behind but like that will make this smaller that edge but I think that's the perfect amount of glimmer for me I'm like I'm not a glimmer girl but I do love a little bit of a pop of fun 
and we'll compare the original card just seeing the difference of just adding a bit of paper behind making that layer a little bit smaller and seeing what they look like next to each other <clears throat> so now's the fun bit masking Woo -hoo -hoo! so I have a piece here what I decided to do with my um, masking was actually cut it in half because I knew the type of layer that I wanted and I thought that way I would actually utilize most of the the layer and anything left over up you know of course I can use again but yeah that's the way I did it I just cut it in half so that's it there <clears throat> and I actually cut it down a little bit here too because I didn't want too look too much left over and I could probably use that for something else as well now all we're going to do very technical but we're going to rip this just keep moving along giving it you know some accents but really no specific sort of tear there that over there and I've got another piece here now I'll show you we'll compare the two of them I'll do one where I use embossing buddy underneath and one where I don't I used it last night and it did kind of grab the paper so you have to be very careful as you're lifting it because it is quite sticky in my honest opinion a little too sticky for something that needs to be removed but hopefully we can circumvent that with um, a bit of embossing powder. So this is the first one. So I'll just, I sort of like to gauge. What I'll do is, before I stick it down, let's get the stamp set here. I've got a lot of stamp sets in front of me here. <laughs> I had a lot of inspiration last night. I was like, oh, I could grab this stamp set and this stamp set. <laughs> um, so grab your, your bathers out and that sort of helped me to gauge where to line up the because I didn't want too much of the bathers being chopped out so I think I'll use those ones and we'll use the make a splash but there's some really cool one like hello sunshine anywhere with with you is paradise wishing you were here but I think in this because we've cut it down we're going to have a lot less room here to play with so we've got to be a little bit strategic in how we place all of this to make sure that it fits so we don't want to cover too much of all of this so I think we might actually start with the base I think we'll flip that and I'll start with down here is that the right tear yes so I think if we do like you can see here I need to cover almost right up to that first bather yes and then that will give enough room to put that sentiment in there and then the next one we're going to use the embossing buddy now this is the one in our digital store it's a little bit messier than our previous embossing buddy but I do use it quite a bit so hopefully Stampin' Up come out with a another embossing buddy in the future because we really need them so the peeling it off is actually not too bad if you have a problem you could just use your um, take your pick tool to maybe pull it apart but yeah I didn't find it too difficult for me and then you just come in here for that piece there Good. and even just seeing I can see here the way that it's yeah I think that's a lot better already I would definitely recommend embossing your buddy because if, if you see this side, it like really sticks. I said it to Bruno last night, I was like, oh, 
can feel and you just yeah maybe don't push down on it <laughs> like I just did then don't do that <laughs> so I'm just going to grab my brushes what brushes do I need should I do the same yeah I'll do the same colors because they are very pretty but feel free to use whatever color you fancy so these are our Stamping Up blending brushes, which are just absolutely amazing. Love, love, love. And I'm going to start with, I think I might start with the darker the Orchid Oasis, Orchid Oasis, Orchid Oasis. I'm trying to lock it in and remove the other name that I have in my head. What name? I don't have another name. Oh, before I do this, I want to share a tip that I learned from Cheryl Miller. It's old habits die hard. So let me share this idea with you and I'll put these on blocks to the little bathers, get them ready. Block one, we have lots of blocks. Block two and block three. They're all ready to go. Now, with sponging, this was a tip that Cheryl Miller taught me in our retreat that we did together so you just stamp on a block and instead of sponging on your ink pad which can cause damage you know if you're doing it continually of course it eventually is going to wear down your ink pad but this is a really great way of being able to pick up your ink from the block I find personally it's a lot more vibrant it's a lot smoother because you've done it on your block and you can kind of, you know, circle on your block. And, um, yeah, it's just a lot nicer when you bring it in. So let's just test this. I find it's, yeah, I really like the vibrancy and I love the fact that it's not affecting my ink pads too. Because, you know, they're a little bit fragile our ink pads we'll look after them isn't that fun so easy so that's number one so we'll put away orchid oasis orchid oasis orchid oasis can go away <laughs> yeah not surprised that Kylie has a pile of stamp sets on her table I have everything by the kitchen sink on this table <laughs> Why is it that I end up with a space this small <laughs> to craft with? <laughs> I have a massive table and I'm on the tiniest little section. <laughs> so again, grab that ink. And I love how it picks it up. It's just so delicious. And again, a little bit on your pad first and then come in. And remember, you can always add more, but you can't take away. So just keep that circular motion happening. Now, we've all done it where we've ended up with a big blob somewhere. And the best way I have found to get rid of like a, a big stain that comes up is to try and match it <laughs> and blend it in. So I just go darker and darker and darker until it kind of fades it in a little bit which is a nice way to do it. Excellent. Tahitian Tide is all happy. And then I used Polish Pink. So let's pop them over there. And we'll come in with our Polish Pink. Just stamp it on your block. It's a bit fun on the block. Do you like that tip, everyone? You can thank Cheryl Miller for that one. I think it's a really great tip. Great tip for inking the brushes. Oh, thanks, Charlotte. Yep. Yeah, I really liked it. I was like, oh, it's brilliant. Enjoy your vacation. Oh, you're going away, Charlotte. Nice. And what did Jessica say? You can put the paper on your jeans. Oh, good one, Jessica. Put on your clothes. Again, sponge off a little bit first. You can always add more, but you can't take away. So, I mean, I want this vibrant, but I don't want it too crazy because we do actually want 
those bathers to pop off the page. I'm happy with that. Are you all happy with that? That was pretty good, wasn't it? That was fun. So yeah, don't be scared of the um, of the sponging. It's really fun and doing the brushes. Just keep practicing. It's maybe not something that naturally works when you first try it. So just keep keep pursuing it because you don't want to miss out on this amazing technique because yeah, it didn't work maybe the first time. Now. The next thing we're going to do is, I oh know I just fixed that for all you OCD people because it was on an angle. <laughs> I'm like, this is very crooked at the moment. <laughs> now looking at this, I think, yeah, we've got enough space. I think, yeah, that side there might have a little bit more space. I might do it this way, to be honest. Because I want, I'm looking at the sentiment, how much room I've got to stamp there. So I'm going to do it this way around. And now we get to stamp our, oh, hello. Now we get to stamp our bathers. These cool retro bathers, or as I used to call them in Queensland, because I'm originally a Queenslander, which is the north of Australia. We called them togs. Have you got your togs? I think we might be able to fit four in here, which I didn't think we were going to be able to, but I think we'll grab the other one out as well. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. It's gorgeous. That looks amazing just as it is. It really does, doesn't it? I was watching when Cheryl Miller shared this tip. I use it all the time with my brushes. I'm so glad. Yeah, the block is a great idea for the tip. Yeah, good. Share that with all your friends. It's a great tip, and I'm very grateful to Cheryl for sharing that with me. So we'll do another one here. Oh, man, it's so fun, isn't it? So when you first get your um, ink or your stamps, just smush it off a little bit first, um, you know, on a piece of paper because it does have a little bit of residue and it doesn't stamp perfectly the first time. Or get your sham wow, <laughs> your chamois, and give it a good clean um, and that can really help too. I think I'm going to bring in the dotties again. We do have a fourth one, but I do love the dots. They're the fun one. I am a dots girl. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so let's clean those off. I know, I'm cleaning everyone. <gasps> Who is this person? I've got my messy shamwell, which actually is really really cool can I just say I love this chamois I've cut mine into three and you can just wee, give that a good clean and because the memento black ink is water-based it comes off nice and easy if you want to condition your stamps particularly these rubber stamps well you can't condition the polymer ones that breaks it down and then they get ruined but these ones you may want to condition them so just you can still have this the mist which is actually a very good desk cleaner too <laughs> conditions your desk <laughs> but yeah just to give it a spritz every now and then if you aren't spritzing with your mist and it'll just condition them a bit good and we'll do our blocks while we're at it hey hi Linda good to see you you have you are welcome it's my favorite trimmer i've ever used oh what's your favorite trimmer the stampin up one the new one's really good does the stampin up trimmer have an extendable arm for the 12 by 12 it sure does yeah you can have the extendable part to it 
I don't like how sticky the masking paper is. Yes, I agree, Audrey. It is a little bit sticky, but I think we may have cured that issue with the embossing buddy. Yeah, I think that that's going to work. <laughs> I can hear Bruno doing the washing. I'm like, Bruno's not even here to see me cleaning my steps. What a waste. <laughs> know me so well <laughs> and I I'm, I'm changing over a new leaf today don't have any expectation of me for the rest of the day <laughs> my job here is done <laughs> I've gone above and beyond people <laughs> piece of hair wants to jump in there <laughs> I've gone beyond my capabilities <laughs> Now, one thing I like to do when I'm doing a sentiment, particularly ones like this where I'm not using the um, stamp writers, is just line it up using the grid paper. So I line up my block with the grid paper and then I just, you know, eyeball using the grid paper behind. It's not going to be absolutely spot on, but at least I know if my block is straight, then hopefully my sentiment is straight. <laughs> so that's my theory. And that's something I like to do. So this one here is going to be nice and easy, hopefully, to come off. This was our top one, wasn't it? Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind is that you've got this beautiful blank white space here. And knowing me, I'm going to put like a big fingerprint. So just make sure that you've got maybe give your hands a little bit of a wipe with baby wipes or something because you do not want to wreck that. Oh, see, it's still a little bit sticky. But, yeah, just be super slow, super careful because, yeah, there's a little tiny little tear there, which, you know, look, to be honest, most people aren't going to see. But, yes, embossing buddy definitely and just really slow and steady. Don't rush this process of taking off the tape. And look, it might be something, feedback that we give to Stampin' Up! because they are very, very good at listening to us all. Um, you know, if it's something that we find um, frustrating. But I think what Jessica said as well, like putting it on your clothes first, I think is actually a really good idea. Just to give it a little bit less stick if you don't have an embossing buddy because it is very sticky. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment. How cute does it look? Do you all love it? Oh, look at you all smiling and clapping. <laughs> yes, that's the Stampin' Up! one. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, stamp cleaning can be fun too. <laughs> A round of applause. It's your fault, Bruno. A round of applause for Kylie cleaning a stairs. <laughs> Um, Megan asks, can you reuse the um, the tape? We can give it a go. Let's try it. I think you, I really do think you could. Um, it probably would be better the second time round because it's taken a little bit of that sticky away. So, yeah, maybe that's a good thing that it's sticky because we can use it again. We'll have a go. <laughs> Bruno's like... <laughs> I don't think so. Kylie's always up for a challenge. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Because, you know, these are all the things we want to try, especially with new products, if you haven't tried it before. So remember, we want to line this up so that it's within the grid. And then if I line this up relatively straight, hopefully we can get it in a good spot. I feel like I've got more room over this side. I think I'm going to be a rebel and do it on the left because the right just looks a little bit squeezy you ready is it straight everyone <laughs> Yay! i'm glad i went over that side <laughs> okay now let's compile so it's a really great as i said really great first card there's no um, dimensionals there's no it's all just gluing and you can use your embellishments on this we've got lots and lots of beautiful embellishments here that I thought would be nice with a project like this um, all these are new these embellishments glossy dots um, fun flower 
resin shapes. Look at all those in there. Really fun um, colours. What's this one here? The solid faceted gems. So let's stick this down. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Good job, Kylie. So nice. And, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you're a mum and you had people around you, like, you know, congratulating you on feeding the baby or <laughs> clapping you for cleaning the house? <laughs> oh, too funny. We need, like, a, a someone to clap us in everyday life. <laughs> Yay! You woke up out of bed today. Woo! -hoo! Go you! <laughs> Maybe we should do it to ourselves. Yes! You're amazing. Look what you just achieved. I think we're, we're too, so busy telling ourselves what we haven't done that we don't celebrate when we do something well. So go all of you. Go, go all of you for getting up today. Beautiful. It's actually very nice to stick down. And I love that this glimmer paper, nothing comes off. It's not glimmer paper that sheds any glitter anywhere because if it did, forget it. I would not be using it. <laughs> so if you wanted to, and I think I'll do it this time, even though I said we're not using dimensionals, I'm going to use dimensionals because I am allowed to change my mind. It's my prerogative as a woman, woman to change my mind whenever I like. I think it will be fun. But if you don't have these cool dimensionals, get them in your life now because they're really fun. <laughs> and we like to use lots of dimensionals in this house because we don't like saggy bottoms around here. <laughs> we do our weight training. <laughs> Squats. 10 squats, everyone. No saggy bums. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Ah, looks so good. I really like it raised up. It adds just a little bit of special to it. Now, what dots are we going to use? <clears throat> I think I'm going to stick with these ones here, which I'm pretty sure these ones are. Let's have a look in the catalog. I think these are the new ink colors, which is why it goes so well with these colors. I'm celebrating the new ink colors without even meaning to. <laughs> Don't you love it when it all works out? <laughs> so let's have a look here at these dots. So at the back of the catalogue, if you go towards, yep, here we go, page 142 and 143 are all our dots. Oh, no, so it's actually Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight and Pool Party. But I do like that you can interchange them. Um, yeah, I'm happy with them. We'll make it look like Tahitian Time, won't we? We're allowed to do that. It's our prerogative. And get your take your pick tool. And you can use either end. I like I have two take your pick tools because I couldn't decide which tool I wanted on each end. So I have two so that all four are ready at all times. Although I have no idea where my other take your pick tool is gone. <laughs> It's somewhere on this desk over there. Oh, there it is. I found it, everyone. You can stop looking. <laughs> Bruno was crafting in here yesterday. What did you put it over there for, Bruno? <laughs> Making a card is enough exercise for me. <laughs> what? We'll do this. Ooh. Ooh. We're lifting our take your pick tool. Ah. <laughs> if we lifted the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine, it probably would do something. <laughs> Here we go. So I like to use the sticky end, and it does actually work with this, which surprised me. I really didn't think it was going to work, but it did. I think I learnt that one, this idea from Dina Rekow. I was like, what? You can use the sticky end? <laughs> But Jessie Scott, our lovely 
um, assistant extraordinaire she likes to use the palette she's a palette knife girl and I did notice in the new catalog that they used a palette knife somewhere so you you've been um, vindicated because they used it in the catalog <laughs> or you can use the really spiky end totally up to you whatever you prefer there is no wrong or right just whatever you're happy doing so there you go. What do you think of this one? So we've kind of just stepped it up a little by adding that background. And what do you think? Do you like both of them? Look, I love both of them. I don't look at that and go, oh, now I hate that one. I love that one more. I just think it's it's different. You can't really compare them because, you know, they're both fun. They're both simple. And I think that this style of card and using the masking in this way is a really great way. Like you can use it with so many different step sets. So some of the ideas that Bruno and I came up with was it would be beautiful with this new wisteria. So you could have the wisteria hanging over. Um, there's some fantastic sentiments in this set. So it would look really gorgeous with the wisteria hanging down off the branches. Um, this one here I'm really looking forward to playing with and I think these geometric designs, the hollyhock, again it's a great stamp set for beginners because you've got both images and sentiments. So I think having a set that has everything together, both the, the image and the sentiments is really great. And this one would be gorgeous, even these leaves sort of sticking up and then having a couple of the smaller flowers. So you don't even necessarily have to use the big flowers. Um, but then if you wanted to go sort of more, you know, like whimsical, you could use just one tone, maybe use like crumb cake or something like that, very softly or just all smoky slate, and then come in with your masking and just stamp these with your mask on and then once you take it off, it would just look like this beautiful, like, see-through window into these beautiful nature-type vibes. So, you know, this would just change it absolutely, completely different. It would become quite a, a natural, like I can see, crumb cake and, you know, even that beautiful black border. But do crumb cake, you know, soft suede. You could stamp these in early espresso rather than the memento and I think it would just look so so pretty even these you know splotches through it all but keep your mask on the whole time as you're stamping it this one here I wasn't too sure about how it would come up I think that if you use a tone that isn't too bright so maybe for a bit of fun it could be even the parakeet party could be a good one with this one and then doing them in the memento um, with the bold, you could put the bold over the top. Um, you'd probably just need to stamp off if you're using the memento. I don't know. Yeah, I found that if you look for images that are solid, then it's going to be a lot better. But yeah, maybe if you do the parakeet party with this one. And you may even be able to do like partial, like parakeet, you know, in the middle here, do another, another colour you know, and then have three colours and then have just the outline of the bird on each one with maybe the cage in there somewhere or even these ones here. Um, and that would be quite nice too because you've got a mix of colours. And also this one here. This one, though, doesn't have a sentiment, so you would need a sentiment, but all the others have got a sentiment. But I thought even this beautiful flower here stamped a few times and change direction would be absolutely gorgeous along that edge as well so you know lots of different you can really swap this out and the last one I had so there's all the stamps that were on my desk <laughs> oh double mask I love that idea Jessica so mask the birds first then blend and cut oh Jessica you're a genius I love that idea so as Jessica's saying, you could actually mask the area so that then you're getting those gradient, like you, you're actually got the background, but then you've got colour as well. Very, very smart. It would mean a little bit of fussy cutting, 
but that's okay we can handle that because I'm not sure if Pretty Birds has a, a die with it but that's if it has a die with it actually would make that a whole lot easier with the masking because um, then you could just use that to cut out but you know fussy cutting's not not that difficult to do but that's a brilliant idea Jessica having the double masking she's a genius that girl yeah I think you would have to cut it out oh here we go let's have a look in here oh yeah there's the butterflies too which I saw I thought the butterflies would look really good with this one so there's so many different ways oh yes they do there you go there's the dies so that would make it a whole lot easier if you cut out because you've got the dies you can cut out the masking tape with the dies and then yeah mask that that's really really smart Jessica you're an ideas girl I tell you what smarty pants so lots and lots of ideas and you know I'll play around with it and I'd love to see what you will come up with as well um, with this design and whether you do the layering with the paper in the background like if you used the butterfly set then you could actually bring in this gorgeous paper in the background to really make it you know pop as you put the butterflies in so some really nice paper here like plain paper in the background I think it's a great way to use your paper or the other alternative is instead of using paper in the background you could use some of our brand new embossing um, layers that's a really nice background layer to use is get the embossing folders and then stick that in the background and have that as a layer yeah oh what happened to yellow I'm looking, looking. Fifteen-year-old lovebird. Oh, they're so beautiful, those birds. Fifteen. <laughs> yes. And that's a good point, Donna. Is if the embellishments had the colours on the the back, that would be very handy. Um, Susan said have you used the linen paper yet did you know it's self-adhesive I did know that and yes we have I did use it for I think I used it in the background of a um, one of the nature type cards but yeah I think I've only used it once but yeah I think the glitter yeah the glitter paper in this particular card is a winner because it's just fun and I think in that style of card it works really really well even with the butterflies I think the glitter paper would be really fun anything super girly I mean boys can have glitter too of course but I think butterflies flowers something <laughs> we'll give our masculine cut we'll make the boys love glitter hey <laughs> masculine card here's my masculine card for today <laughs> yes dyes would leave a white border around the bird or any other stamp for that matter Charlotte it's really interesting you say that and I'd like to test it because the old dyes would have a lot bigger gap but the new dyes are very very close like the the white line is so minimal that I don't think it would be because I was thinking about that with the masking and maybe that's something we can just give a have a little try now hey we'll, we'll try with our double our double stamping because I did promise we'd test that right I don't want to go just yet I'm having too much fun with all of you okay got it so let me just cut down another piece I'll do it the same size the um what did we do granny apple green or pool party what was the smallest pool party so if you grab your pool party work out what's going to be so see here it's telling me it's going to be too short so we have to go this direction because the other way wouldn't fit isn't that cool because you yeah if you don't 
no, then you'll be like, oh, I just cut that and it's too short. And then you have to cut into another piece. So that's super annoying. That one and that one. So let's just try it with the birdies. For the sake of not trying to, oh, actually I do want to try parakeet party. <laughs> I'm going to bring in parakeet party. <laughs> Who wants a party? I like to party. I like, I like to party. There we go. I'm just going to use the one. But before we, we're testing it out with our double piece. I'll just put it on some grid paper. I'll just flip this around so it's not as distracting. And we'll go like so. Where are our birdies? Thank you for this, Jessica. It's brilliant. Genius. I like pulling them off. Bruno doesn't. Sorry, Bruno. I'll keep it on just for you. <gasps> I'm turning over a new leaf. Okay. So I'll just peel away a little bit for you. I want this guy. I want this guy. And I want this little guy. And you could make them different colours too. Let's just test that out. <laughs> let's, let's go the whole hog. <laughs> Ooh, they've got different colouring. That's a bit exciting. It's like a puzzle. Okay. I think they're all the pieces we need. And... What else do we need? We're going to need a sentiment. Of course. Um, where's my other piece of tape? Here he is. Oh no, that's the other side. That's the non-sticky side. <clears throat> it looks pretty good. What do you reckon? I think it's sticking. So, yeah, I think you can use it again. I would have no problems doing that. And I think it would be a lot better the second time round too. Yep, feels really good. <clears throat> now, we need to get our birdies. And I'm going to get, you know, those pieces that I cut off at the edge. Where are they? They would be very handy to use. Look how many little pieces I've got here. Will I find the the other edge of the sticky paper, the masking paper? Ooh. Oh, no, that's a piece of brushed. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think we might have to cut into another piece, which is fine because we need three of them. You hear little ones? I'll start doing a bit of a tidy. tidy. <clears throat> we'll put that away. If you if you've lost something, just start you know slowly putting things away. No, that's not the tape I want. And eventually, eventually, hopefully, it does show up. Templates? No, it's not in there. There's been many a things hidden in templates before. Let's put all them together. All the templates are now together. We'll put them away. <laughs> Oh, there's some ink pads here we don't require. We'll put them up the back. We do need you. You stay there. Oh, I didn't do the inside of the card. That's all right. I'll do it later. I'll open it up and go, oh, how dare you expose yourself, you nudie Rudy. Oh, there's the butterflies. That was the other one that was on my desk that I think will look really good. <laughs> and, yes, I had a lot of stamps on my desk. They're now on the side. 
Well, I've moved everything out of the way and it still hasn't shown up. So it's official. It's official. I've lost the plot. No, I had lost the plot already. Anyone for another mug? <laughs> Stampin' Up! have got onto my Breveginos. Isn't that exciting? They sent us both a mug for our, for the trip achievers. Isn't that fun? I was like, oh, I'm going to have a Breveginos with my Stampin' Up! mug as well. Who else has bought some mugs, some love at chop it mugs? Did we sell out, Bruno, our mug at, mug at chop it mugs? <laughs> <clears throat> Where are we? Oh, very exciting. Thank you, everyone. Oh, that's really special. We've got Donna, Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. Love it. Chop it mug. What else did you get, Donna? Donna got some. Oh, she got two mugs. Thank you, Donna. That's brilliant. Very exciting. <laughs> it's going to end up on the dog somewhere. All right. I have given up. I tried looking, but it's not to be found. Although I do have my one from last night. Do you reckon I should reuse this one? Let's do it. Look at, look at that. <laughs> do you reckon we can reuse it? Let's give it a go. I'm all for reusing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What have we found here? Oh, no. It's just a piece of cardstock. It's very confusing. It all looks like masking tape. But I've just got to learn to put it straight back. Look, Bruno's even made me a masking tape container. Isn't he the best? So even all my scraps, I need to put them straight back into here. And then I would never lose them. Isn't that amazing? I should have learnt from my mother when she said, put things back where they belong. That's how she sounds too. <laughs> That's how she sounded in my head. <laughs> I should have listened. I really should have. One day. Okay. I've tried everywhere, everyone, but I think we'll use this one. I'll bring in the mini. I'll bring in the mini skim. My mini, mini machine. Which, by the way, we absolutely love now that we use the grey base and not the white one. So FYI, everyone, spread the word. Use the grey base to go through the mini because it's brilliant. It really genuinely does work. I'm still looking. Shh. Oh, yes, I like these ones too. I've used a lot. Can you tell we like these ones? I use them on my project. These are the new in color decorative dots. So I might keep them for the parakeet party. I did wonder where they were. They were under lots of things over here. <laughs> Okay, so what's the Parakeet Party dies called? I mean, I call them Parakeet Party, but they're not Parakeet Party. They're Pretty Birds. What are the Pretty Birds dies called? The Pretty Bird dies are... Bye, Jenny! Big hugs! Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Who's a pretty boy? I think our um, bird Fantasia used to say that. Birdhouse dies. Yay. So Bruno is a very good. He's our organiser of this room. And he puts all our dies in alphabetical order. So I know that I can come over here and find them because they're in alphabetical order. Look at that. Bang. That's what happens when you're organised. When I grow up, I want to be like Bruno. One day I will. One day you will be effluent, Kimmy. One day. So will it fit? They might be a little bit off, but that's okay. So we need those three. This is a really cool die set. 
I like them. That's the birdhouse die set. And <laughs> look at me. I'm like reusing everything. I think it's going to work, people. I really do. So we'll just... Oh, they might be... Oh, no, they look all right. And if you wanted to, if it's a reused piece, you could probably put this piece of paper just to keep it firm and not sticking to your machine. Just sort of keep it hovered onto a piece of paper because you can peel it off afterwards and then that will give you more control over your masking tape. If this works, this is going to be amazing, right? It's like <laughs> use, reuse, reuse. We want to be careful of these bits, though, that they're flat. There you go. I'm happy with that. And then make sure that that's flat. Good. And then we'll bring this through. Like, sorry. And this little guy. Oh, we'll get two out of it at least. Well, that's good. Run that through. Whee! So then what you can do... And it's good that this bird set is photopolymer because then you'll be able to see through. <gasps> Look at my nails. Sorry, everyone. I didn't redo them before the video today like normal. See, even now it's still very sticky. I mean, it has just been run through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Oh, I've lost his little foot here. I've ripped it. You ripped it, Kylie. You ripped it. I might be able to reattach him. I've been watching too much ER. <gasps> we might be able to still do surgery on him. <laughs> Look at his little leg. Oh, what have I done to you? <laughs> anyway, it's all just for play. We're just, we're just checking it out, right? We're just mucking around here. So I'm going to go like so. Let's see how I can, because birdies can fly, so we can twist him to the side a little bit. Now, where's the sticky bit and where's the, the part? Oops, now I've really ripped it off. Ooh, that's the sticky bit. Hmm, doesn't feel like it's in the right spot. I think I'll do that one again. But this guy looks okay. We'll be a bit more careful with him when I rip it off. But I definitely feel, Megan, to answer your question, yes, we can reuse it. Because look at that. It was pretty sticky. It was so sticky, in fact, that that's what ended up ripping it because it wouldn't come off. It was stuck down for good. It's slightly thinner. Oh, yes, the plates. Yes, the grey one is much better. Much, much, much better. The... Oh, I think it's actually taken off the... Maybe it wasn't a good idea placing it on the white. Maybe we should have just kept it on the plastic. <laughs> because it's run through the machine, it's like... I'm staying on here for life. <laughs> I'm not coming off. <laughs> Look at that. It's peeled off the um <laughs> peeled off the back of the anyway, this is how we learn. <laughs> this is how we test things, right? You I, I'm happy to be the um the tester of all things. I'm happy to get things wrong from time to time. Yeah, it's definitely stuck down. So I think we'll start from scratch. <laughs> it definitely would be a whole lot easier using the tape and cutting it out from here before you peel it people 
before you peel it. Why, why make your, your life harder? <laughs> I did try though for you, Megan. I really did. So you can just cut what you need. <clears throat> so we've got our three little birdies here. One, two, and where's our third one? Where are you, little one? There you are. Found ya. One, two, three. So I'll just sort of eyeball here how much tape I need. That gives me plenty of room there. Cut that down there. And then cut that down there. And then we'll run that through. Now, it will make it a whole lot easier because I've got the base. I've got the backing. No sticky mess anywhere. It's a lot easier, isn't it? And we'll bring in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and use your grey number three plate instead of the number one. You all lined up? Yes, happy. Stay there, little ones. So it's a little bit of fiddling with the masking, but I think, you know, Jessica's right. It's a, um, like it's one of those cool techniques that you can have a lot of fun with. And you can really go for, go to town with this one because it's got all these beautiful colours and layers. <clears throat> so what we might even do, rather than doing parakeet in the background, I think I might use like a neutral. Oh, what about? Oh, oh I know. I'm going to use Starry Sky. That will really pop, hey? And then we'll use the other in colors because they actually go very very well with these birds but i think it's sort of awkward oasis let's use the sweet sorbet so let's celebrate all things in colors today <clears throat> i didn't mean to but that's kind of what's happened which is a lovely little surprise there you go maybe instead of uh, yeah, I'll go Starry Sky for the spongy. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do a mashup of these two. We'll go like darker and a little bit lighter. It will all make sense soon, my lovelies. It's all in my head right now. So just sponge that. And I'm going to do a little bit of sponging here and do the orchid oasis down the bottom and then come in with our starry sky. How's everyone going? Is that the right way in the machine? Oh, yes, true. Oh, yes, true, Jen. Do you need to stamp the birds first? Then mask them before you sponge the background. Anyway, we'll we'll soon find out because these are po I was thinking they're polymer. So, but yes, I think maybe yeah, they should be the right way. We'll soon find out. Oh, Guyly, hi Bruno Vincici. I just read your message on there. Are you supposed to put the masking paper on before you sponge it? Yes. <laughs> I just realised that. Now I know what you're talking about. I'm like, what are, what are you talking about masking? <laughs> so this is where it comes in really handy that we can flip the paper. See, it's still sticky and this is a reuse. Look how beautiful that looks even. Wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> uh, that's really funny. 
Now I understand everyone. Okay. Yeah, we need to undo these. So what's the best way we can undo these? I think it's going to be the... Um, oh, no, it seems to be coming off. Okay, there we go. And then that's going to... Is it going to stamp the right way, though? <laughs> I think it's the opposite. Okay, so we have to run it through again because the masking paper is the wrong way. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, have I done it the right way? So you've got to make sure that the right way is facing up. We're learning from all of my mistakes. So I think I ran it through, let's have a look here, let's work it out. So you can test it out. So this is the sticky side here. So we want it to be this way. So you just have to figure out which is the sticky side and then you'll know exactly which way to cut. Ooh, no, it's the opposite. See, look at that. Or maybe I've got the opposite bird here. Ah, oh, I did. Yes. It means I did it the right way. But yes, please make sure that you check that you're doing it the right way first. Because there's another bird here, I think. Is there? Yes, there he is. Yes. This is all the learn this is all the things you can learn from. So we've got one bird there. So yes, do double check that you've got your masking tape the right way. Because otherwise you could end up. Yep, that's happy that way. It's all right if his little wing comes off. <clears throat> and then this one here. Oh, this is so cute. Well, I want that to sit right. There we go, little ones. Now we'll do our sponging. Stamp that again. Thank you, Bruno Batucci. He's on to it. I'm so confused right now, Susan. <laughs> so what are you confused with? You just have to make sure that your sticky bit, like when you chop, when you cut these, you if you do it the wrong side, they're going to end up back to front. So just make sure that you know your sticky side is the right side. I fluked it because I didn't check it. But, yes, that is one thing to keep in mind. If you're going to do this type of masking. <laughs> Poor Susan. It will make sense very soon. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, now I get it. Now we'll do Starry Sky. Come in with some, ooh, that's really dark and very inky. Okay, so pretty. Ended up doing mostly starry sky. It's a really nice colour. But look how much ink is left. Should we keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Let's use it all. Because it's so beautiful. I want it to be really, really, really popping. Ooh. Okay, now it's about to all make sense now, people. I know it's a bit random, but we just want to peel this off. I don't want to peel off the other one yet. Being very careful because this is brand new tape and I didn't use the embossing buddy first. 
There we go. Then we've got this one. Give me a little guy. Now, the other thing that's really good about this too is you can do the opposite. Like if you wanted to, you could have a strip of like this opposite one here. If I cut them like all to sit nicely, I could actually use the opposite mask too, which is really fun. So you could actually use this to mask as well. You can use the, like if you if you think ahead of time, you can use the reverse, what do you call it, the, the negative and the, okay, there we go. Now, what colour are we going to use? I think I'm going to use the Memento to stamp our birdies. And then we can come in with some colour. I'm just going to close these because these are very dangerous being next to me. I'm going to end up putting my hand in some ink. I can see it right now. Ooh, let's do the, stamp, the bold stamping first, actually. And then we can come in with the next layer. Yee, this is fun! I love experimenting. So we've got this little piece here. What else have we got here? Ooh, this looks like a head. Yeah, I think that's the head to this guy. What else have we got here? It's like a big puzzle, this one. Ooh, what's this guy? Maybe he's that one. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some fun with this. Oh, I found this one. Oh no, that's not him. Oh, it's not him either. Who's this little one? Maybe he is this guy. <laughs> What's our other colours that we've got? Oh no, it must be that. Ah, I got it. This is this one. Yeah. He doesn't look like he fits. What about here? No, he doesn't fit him. I don't know. What do you guys think? It doesn't seem to colour in the body quite right. <coughs> Maybe I did get them the wrong way around after all. But these seem good. That would be really funny if I did all this and I had them the wrong way. <laughs> I think I have. <laughs> oh, shame I'm so excited. So, okay, let's do a Kylie. <laughs> we'll make it really, really complicated now. I was like, yes, I fluked it. I got it right, but I did it. This guy, this guy is actually back to front. So let me show you how it's meant to be. This guy is back to front this way. <laughs> and this guy is back to front this way. <laughs> oh, that's gold. <laughs> oh, okay, there is a way to fix this, but don't copy me. And only, only in case, this can be in case you do it the wrong way. Don't do as Kylie did. But, you know, I'm all for fixing errors. <laughs> so what I'm going to do <laughs> with this guy, rather than chuck it out, because I don't like wasting, is I'm going to, let me see here, let me work it out in my head, because uh, I want to do the reverse, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this is what I like when I do a big boo-boo because then you will learn from me. Don't do what Kylie did. Do the opposite. And this, because there's two birdies the same, see how this birdie here looks like that birdie, but you can tell by its little foot if it's the right way. So let's just cut him again. Is that sticky? Yes. So it goes this way down. Oh, does it? No, it goes that way. 
<laughs> well, does it? No, it goes that way. <laughs> Get your stamp <laughs> and then you'll know. <laughs> that is going to be your best way to find out. So we're going to stamp him like that. Good. So he needs to be sticky on that side. Okay, we've figured it out, everyone. So that's how you can do it, okay? <laughs> You're watching me play with something for the very first time. This is what we all look like, but normally I do it in the privacy of my own room and make all the boo-boos and then jump on here and look like a genius. Yes, so that's the best way to make sure that you have your sticky the right way. But what we will do <clears throat> this time is I'm going to cut it like this because then we can use the reverse as well, which will be a lot of fun. Yay! Oh, Kylie. Just make them silhouettes. Yes, that's true. We can, we can use that, can't we? I love that thinking. That line of thinking is very good. They will still look very nice. Good. I'm happy with that. You can all disappear now. But that's good. At least you're all aware of the pitfalls that could occur with masking. <gasps> I feel like it's wrong again. I'm like so confused. <gasps> yes, it's this way. Okay, good. Sticky, sticky back. Yes. So double check again and again and again. Okay, I've got it now. <gasps> oh, I could breathe again. Quick, I need a sip of coffee. <laughs> oh, I like that yellow. Oh, Lisa, that's beautiful. Fail. First attempt in learning. Aww. Why don't you stamp the masking paper to make sure you have it correct? Bruno, I love that idea. I love it. No, Elaine, we will not give up. We never give up. So Bruno's got a really good point. So we know that this is the sticky side. So if I stamp this, I love it, Bruno. That's a really genius idea. <clears throat> well, then we're going to make sure that it's the right way. So that could be one way of doing it to ensure it's like this way up. It's to remind yourself. You could just stamp one. You don't have to do all of them. But then you know, okay, I'm in the right. I'm on the right side. Genius, Bruno. Genius. <clears throat> That boy's a genius. What does this one look like? I just want to have him on the right angle. There you go. Okay, let's run that through. Just make them silhouettes. I love that. Does the stamp case help? Ooh, yes. Practice makes perfect. It's so true. And we always learn from, <clears throat> like, whenever, I, whenever I'm crafting like this, it's just how you learn. Like, I think sometimes people think that we don't make mistakes. Of course, we all do. We all have to, like, especially with new items. I'm just going to close my parakeet. This is the way that we learn. So don't be afraid. To make boo boos. Okay, now we're happy. <clears throat> so I just want to see these silhouettes. I think they'll look really cute. And this this tape's still going, people. Can you see it? It's still quite sticky. Amazing. That actually looks really pretty. We'll keep that over there. And I'll chop another piece here. 
for our next one. I really wanted to give this a try. Oh, come here, little one. Stay over there. So we're doing our pool party size again. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We'll do it that way first. And then there. Good. Now remember with this, with this one we're going to go landscape. Got a little bit of, uh, you probably won't see it because it'll be sponging. But yes, you can do the positive or the negative on this. So what we can do is even do it this way and then sponge and then stamp on top. And if you wanted to, you could keep the whole thing, like put these back in as well and then you've got the inverse and the reverse. I love it. So just keep that in mind when you're cutting how you want to layer this piece so that you can use that one as well. That way we're not wasting any masking paper. So we'll put our two layers on again. like so come over here little ones so there we go so just make sure that you've got enough space for your sentiment down the bottom that's the only thing to check with that layer and then this layer up the top is just checking that you've given yourself enough room for all your little birdies because we want them to sort of be off the page but not too far off the page. Well the stamping really helps actually because you can see exactly which way it's meant to be. It's actually a lot better for visualization. Thank you Bruno, that was a very good suggestion. Suggestione. So then we'll stick these down as well. Yes. So just remembering you're doing all of them. Yay! I think we're right now. We've learnt some good lessons together. So I just want to get him in the right direction. Because he's that direction, I'll put him there. And then the other one, I'll put that way. <laughs> Where is the other one? Where are you? <laughs> look at all these. Look at all these. <laughs> Where's the other one gone? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, Kylie. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> what do you do with the problem like Kylie? <laughs> that would have been very funny if I couldn't find you, little one. Okay, we're happening, people. I'm going to do Starry Sky. Just Starry Sky. No Orchid Oasis. <laughs> I just stamp on the plastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yep. Everyone's got their masking story, but I do like the fact that we can do this little opening. And look, it's good to review these new products and then you can decide whether it's for you or not or whether you've got your own little routine or rhythm already. But if you don't know, then you can't decide what you want to do. Right? 
can't believe we've used this backing three times though. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So you can do a whole batch of cards with the same style of background. You could do some landscape, some portrait. There we go. Love, love, love. I'll throw them out so that they don't confuse me. And look at this. We can tell we're having fun. Lots of ink everywhere. So just grab some baby wipes or <laughs> some um, mist. <laughs> <laughs> a mist stamp and mist and some tissues and get all as much as you can off before you unveil because you do not want this transferring into the spots that you've so carefully masked oh that starry night ink is absolutely gorgeous look at that so you could probably put your little mark like if you wanted to reuse these birds which you know we've seen you can maybe just pop it onto your silicon mat so that he keeps a little bit of his stick and then doesn't curl as much or even just sticking it onto your grid paper like so and then you can keep them for your next project because it is something that I think if you've gone to this much effort to cut it all out I would say it's something that would be good to do a few few copies of because you've got it all there ready to go why not why not do it a few times <laughs> it looks like he's he's lying down having a rest I think he was actually meant to be the other way oh no that looks Oh, yeah, yeah, he's meant to it the other way. That's okay. You'll all forgive me. <laughs> Hopefully I'm giving you a good laugh here. Kylie trialing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to stamp the memento first now. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Could help if my block was clean. But I am a little bit of a... Actually, you know what we'll do before I stamp and put it in the wrong spot? This would be perfect with our Stamparatus tool. Yes, this is a perfect Stamparatus job. Because what you can do with the Stamparatus... We'll move that over here. Whee! Stick that down. And then you can have it sitting exactly where you want it to go. Just make sure he's clean. Oh, that's much better. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to line that up. It would have ended up wobbly. Yeah, that looks really good. And because it's um, photopolymer, I should have put my little layer on. Let's do that. Where's my other little layer, actually? Where are you, little one? Hmm. No. Oh, there it is. There you are. I like it better with the grid paper and the glossy. It's much better. Much better. There we go. So take your time with this bit because you really want it to, to line up exactly where you want it. 
think I might need a little bit more sticky. That's what we want. Actually, I might just use tape because sometimes when I use the magnetic plate on this layer, it's too bulky. Okay, now we're ready. Oh! <laughs> this photopolymer is so sticky. <laughs> it's like, I'll stick it down with tape. <laughs> no, the tape doesn't want to stay. Here we go. <laughs> it's like, stay there. I told you to stay there. <laughs> the photopolymer is just like, you're coming with me. We're going to go party over here. <laughs> this is really cool tape, by the way. Post-it tape. <laughs> so let's line that up again. So now I'll know exactly what to do for next time. I've got it all worked out in my head. Yay! <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> Time to stamp! Here we go! It did make me laugh that I lay him down like that though. He must be up in the tree. <laughs> it's not quite as straight as I'd like. <laughs> but it will do. <laughs> it will do for our prototype challenge. <laughs> That's hilarious. I tell you what, this is definitely for people who love a challenge. I think that should be happy. Stay there. <laughs> Look how sticky it is. <laughs> Look, it's lifting up the post-it note. Stay there! <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like a comedy, isn't it? This is why people don't do new things on YouTube channels. Because this is what happens. <laughs> oh, I'm really nervous. It's not in the right spot. <laughs> is it in the right spot? I think so. Okay, here we go. Got a halo, yeah. <laughs> so I think if you really, really, really wanted it to be spot on, that's actually not too bad. But if you really wanted it super close, then you could just fussy cut maybe instead of the dies. But it's good to try it, right? We've got to test it out and see what it see what it does. And then if you wanted to, you could do all your stamping. But I think we'll just come in here with the reverse image and do a bit of colouring that way. And then that would actually work well because it would get rid of that halo bit. You know, just a suggestion. It might work. We'll test it. Where's my green, do you think? I've got blue. Oh, yeah, there it is. I did bring it over. My parakeet party. Let's try this. Rather than stamp, you can stamp, but let's just try it with this and see what it looks like. And you could totally, like, change the colour. Like, I'll do, I'll do lighter up there and then go really dark with the parakeet down the bottom. So it's got a bit of texture to it. Oh, what do you think, everyone? I'm 
pretty impressed with that. Um, we'll do him sweet sorbet. What's the other colour that I've got here? Oh, the Tahitian, that's right. Got sweet sorbet. Might do that one Tahitian. Yes. And so start from your, from the bottom or even the tummy even, because you can be quite dark there. Oh, this reminds me of Fantasia, Bruno. This was exactly what our birdie Fantasia looked like. And that's exactly what, what our birdie Phoenix looked like. Well, I haven't thought about them for a long time. Oh, it's Fantasia and Phoenix. <laughs> Who came up with those names? That's hilarious. <laughs> We're not over the top. <laughs> Maybe you're just not exciting. <laughs> Fantasia and Phoenix. It's so cute. Now, I just want a little bit on here. I don't need a whole lot because this is very inky, super inky. Hopefully this is making more sense to you all now. <laughs> Hopefully it's like, oh, now I know what she's doing. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, moment of truth. Let's peel it all off and see what this little card looks like. <laughs> Was it worth all the effort? I think once we've done it once, at least we know what we're doing, right? Oh, I've got a little bit of a stain there. That's a bit of a shame. So that's maybe something to keep in mind if you're reusing. Oh, that's really cute. I would definitely look at that and think how, what, how, how did that happen? How did that occur? But yes, Deb's about that little spot there, but that is the risk you take if you're reusing the, I really don't like using the magnets with polymer. Yes. The depth of the magnet is deeper than the polymer stamp. I agree, because when I go to stamp it with the magnet, because you probably saw I didn't use a magnet and just use my tape, the magnet goes, it it mucks up with the stamping. So that's why I used the, yeah, the sticky and not the magnets. Yes, yes, what Bruno said, stamp first, then put the mask over. And then blend. Yes, I agree, Yella. It's definitely a good one. Yeah. Cover the spot with a gem. I love it. <laughs> it looks a bit 3D now. It does look a bit 3D, doesn't it? I mean, the worst case scenario, if you wanted to, um, you could probably, yeah, do a bit of sponging on the top. <laughs> Everyone's saying, put an embellishment there. <laughs> but I'll just pop a little sentiment on. What sentiment have we got here? Which I do so glad you exist. <laughs> You're my bestie. What else have I got here? Oh, you make my life brighter. Oh, a little hello is cute. Let's do the little hello. Hello. Hello, you want a cracker? <laughs> Do I sound like a bird? Hello. That's what our birdies used. Did our birds talk, Bruno? I can't remember if they talked. I think we taught Phoenix to talk. I think he just used to go... <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, I like a little hello. Oh, it's such a cute little hello too. That's from the 
Heavenly Hollyhocks. It's very cute. And it's good that it's polymer. I do love a polymer see-through stamp because I always feel so much more confident. Now, before we stamp this, because this is a brand new stamp, so just test it a few times on your paper. Give it a little bit of a smush even. Um, you can rub it on your skin because sometimes there's just a little bit of residue, residue on the new polymer and the rubber. And you don't want to ruin it. You don't want to put it on your card. Well, maybe we can cover it here. Oh, let's cover the splotch with the hello. Yes. Let's do that. No one will know. No one will ever know. Yes. <laughs> we covered the splotch, everyone. <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> we could even do a few of them. <laughs> let's do a few hellos. We'll do a hello from each bird. Hello. <laughs> it's actually really cute. <laughs> they look like they're all talking together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, that's worked out really good. I'm very happy we pursued that, everyone. <laughs> the big bird in the middle of the book. I'm having anxiety with all those photopolymer stamps loose. All right, I'll do it for you, Bruno. I'll fix it up. I was in my creative mode. When I get into creative mode, everything goes chaos. You know that. But as long as I don't move anything, <laughs> then we're okay. We're safe. Oh, here's my. <laughs> and we'll pop this. I don't know. What colour do you think we should pop it onto? I think maybe, anyway, we'll test it out. I think the Tahitian Tide's going to look really good. Look, I kept the Klingon Bruno. Are you proud of me? I kept the, <laughs> I kept the piece. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one will know. They're going to know. They'll never know. But this is the thing that I, I suppose you can pull it back and do it like this. Uh, I agree, Bruno. I will try it for a while. I just hate plastic bits on things. I'm a remove the plastic straight away person. There's two types of people in this world. People who cover everything with plastic. <laughs> people who want to remove it. <laughs> Okay, here are all the little pieces, Bruno. This is this is the moment. This is the moment. Is everything still here? Because there are lots of little pieces. It's true. I think that's that one, but we've got to go that way. Yes. Piece one. Piece two. <gasps> Have we got three more pieces here? Yay! I didn't lose any, Bruno. Are you proud of me? Yay. Uh, I honestly think I've only ever lost one stamp set in my life and it was a Miss You stamp set that we're pretty sure a visiting dog ate. It just literally just disappeared. There we go. Are you happy now? I feel I feel happy. But let's layer this guy. Let's layer him. But first I'll put these ones away too. And I'll give this a clean. First I'll do tissues because I think it's a bit full on for my chamois. <laughs> That's a lot of ink. And baby wipes are good too. Yeah. Baby wipes to do to do to do. Baby wipes to do to do to do. And this one. And then I think we are cooking with gas. We're at happy days. So we've tested a lot of things masked today. 
and lots and lots of ideas, which is very exciting. Hopefully it gives you lots of inspo on what you can do. Oh, and there's also the dies here, Bruno. I'll put the dies away straight away too. See, here are the dies. How can you tell I've had fun today? Can you tell I've had fun today? Ooh, you think basic white, Helen? Oh, Ross, it reminds you of your mum. Oh, thank you, Bruno. I'm very happy about that too. Oh, there's my little stamp set here. Sunny splash. Take a splash in the sun. Yes, we do like to have a sunny splash. It's definitely anything but sunny here because we have... We're very cold in Melbourne today. Yay! I put it all away, everyone. Although the dies I haven't put away because I have no idea where... Oh, there they are. Look, I put everything away, everyone. You're proud of me? Even the dies. <laughs> Chaos reigns in the Batucci house of old Kylie. <laughs> So yes, and take a picture of how these lay out before you pull them off because it's always a challenge to get them where they need to be once you pull them off. Okay, let's have a look here. What are we layering? We've got lots of different ideas. I think, let's see what we think here of this idea because we've got all these beautiful papers here that are the in colours. So we've got our glitter and we've got these fun ones too. So we could use, oh, there's so many beautiful ones, isn't there? I love this striped one. Even the flowers. I know, look at all the space I have. It's like, wee! Oh, is this what it feels like to have creative freedom? <laughs> Space to move around. Yes. Or we could go some dots. Oh, that does look very nice with the starry sky. That's really fun, isn't it? We've got lots of beautiful papers we can try. Even these ones here. That's probably a little bit too busy for my liking. Because I want them to be the hero. So I'm thinking dots. <laughs> You're proud of me, Yvonne. Thank you. <laughs> and Brenna's going to clean the blocks with alcohol. I do like that. Thank you, Brenna Batucci. Let's have a look at the parakeet. Yeah, I think it needs, see, look how when you put it against it, you can just tell. You're like, hmm, yeah, it's not, it's not doing it for me. Not like the starry sky was. And then you can even see the sweet sorbet. Yeah, I think it needs to be the background piece. The starry sky is definitely the winner, isn't it? Yeah, it makes it pop with the dots. I agree, Joyce. Joyce, you're a smarty pants. Yeah, and it really does set it off. So that's how I like to test it out. And the other thing that we could do too is with our glimmer paper. So I think that's the starry sky one. But yeah, I think it's... Look, it's nice, but I think the designer series paper really makes it pop. Yeah. But, you know, just test it out. Lay it on top before you lock it in. And then you'll know what you want your background to be. So because we've got our designer series paper is the starry sky, I think that means I'll do... I'm actually going to do a layer of the basic white and then the base I'll do starry sky. But we could even do the base in the basic white too because that's really not it would be really lovely having a contrast actually let's do that we're going to go thick basic white because it's going to be the base oh happen to have a base here 
and we just need a piece to cut for the in-between. Um, I was just seeing if I had any scrappies around, but I think I've used it all. So let's just, using our layers that we had before, which was, we need the paper to be Poppy Parade size. We've got the gorgeous grape for the thick. Let's do the gorgeous grape card base first. And just remember, flip your trimmer around <coughs> and grab your bone folder. And then you can fold it in the corner here. Right up against the edge. Thank you, Bruno, for this genius idea. So it can be like that. You could even fold it probably that way. If, if probably, oh no, because then you wouldn't be able to get the bend. Maybe that way if you wanted more, yeah, more room. I think that might actually be a, a bit easier. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, see, there's the little corner here. I had my face in the way. So just pop it in that corner piece. And then we have the Poppy Parade layer. So cut that. Yes. So we've got that one, that one. And then we just need... The, what was the one in between? Oh, Granny Apple Green. And we already cut down our front piece to pull party. Where's my pulley party? So I'm going to do another basic white. Hmm. Pool party's gone for a party somewhere. <laughs> it went out and partied somewhere. <laughs> oh, here it is. It's over here. <laughs> so we'll do this granny apple green size. So again, grab your template and you can just gauge which, which cut is going to be best for you, depending on how you use your paper and what, what you want left over. So I think I like that cut for me because I like that bigger space there. I'll be able to use it more effectively. There we go. And a smaller cut. So that piece for me is a lot more user friendly. Good. So we've got all our layers. Thank you card templates you're so handy to me so we have one two let's see how it all looks combined and wire oh, I don't know about the card base being in white I did try it but I think I'm going to mm, let's have a look maybe the parakeet might be good after all I will still use that for something else, but I think it's too much white space. I think it needs to be grounded in some colour. Yeah, I think it needs to be. Oh, look at that. Yes. See? It just makes a difference. I mean, that one becomes very bright, but I think that one there is the winner. The winner, winner, chicken dinner. It makes such a difference how you ground. I do like a dark base. I don't know what it is with the base. Unless you're going like all white and then it would look. But I think because I've added the paper there, that's what's made it need the dark base. So let's try it this way and see how it goes. So you can do in the corner like so. You line it up. And even if you wanted to, actually, you could just turn this for this particular gorgeous grape fold. You can just turn it landscape and really make sure that that's tucked in 
on on each edge and then you've got a beautiful fold there I really love that idea for the folding it's great I'm still feeling like I'm all thumbs and all fingers yeah I like that and then I'm gonna have that oh, I think I'm gonna stick that down very cute is everyone happy <laughs> was epic <laughs> oh but that was very fun to test that out wasn't it thank you to jessica hart oh what happened to my computer it literally just turned off and on hopefully you're all there i was having it's decided to do a um an update right now of course because you know that's what you do in the middle of a live Good thing I've got your comments sitting here still so I can see them all. Let's go there. Go to your tribe. There we go. Look at the little bit of glue there. A bit of gluey glue. Let me just open this and make sure that you're all still there and that it hasn't crashed. <laughs> hello, hello. Good thing I remember my part. Oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I said, good thing I remember my password. And it said, dang, that's not your password. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Oh, so cute. Hello. Hello, Holly Wanna Gregor. <laughs> I actually like him lying down like that. Now they all look a bit crazy. <laughs> it's the bird crazed menagerie. <laughs> oh, because of your computer was restarted because of a problem. Oh, thanks. Thanks for restarting, even though I didn't request it. Let's go back in here so I can see all your comments. It's having a little, having a little reboot. So there you go. So I'll do the inside after because you guys have been here for a very long time and I very, I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I know. So fun, hey? <laughs> More like an amusement park ride than a path. Yep. Oh, good. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I think the starry sky really, I mean, had I just used white in the background, then it would look very, very crisp, but it would just have a very different look to it. But I think it's kind of brought in that background. Yeah. Ooh, yes. That a black border around there would look very, very nice. Yeah. Fun, huh? We had a good play. The blue one's totally confused. It's like, why am I upside down? <laughs> and Bruno Sam, oh, sure, I'd love to show you your, your sample. So we did these ones and this one. And so, you know, obviously this is a lot quicker and easier way of doing this type of card, but I'm very grateful to um, Jessica for explaining how you can use the masks for adding color like you know sometimes you just want to have a dark background but you do want to have a pop of color coming off a dark background so um yeah it's really good now um do you mean your um masking sample bruno <clears throat> so i'll actually get bruno to come in here and explain this because it's quite funny <laughs> Oh, thank you, Carrie. That's so good. <laughs> A very cute and fun card. Oh, thank you. I don't think I'm I, I'm thinking Bruno must be very far behind because I can't hear him coming in. I need my watch to go come in here. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to come in there. 
Ah, oh, thank you. All very good cards. Bruno, yes. Is that yes, you're coming in? <laughs> well, that's yes, you can show them. Wow, I'm very far behind. Oh, here he is. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so explain what happened with your two cards. Hi, everyone. I I'm never still in my pyjamas. So. <laughs> <laughs> so is it front or down? Okay. So first of all, I this was the first card that I made. But this is the mistake. That was the accident. So, um, what happened here? It I looks great. Wanted to make the embossing white. Right. However, as I was heat heat setting it, mm -hmm. I realised that I picked up the clear. Oh, I want to add some embellishments on those too. Anyway, I'll do that in a sec. I added the clear embossing powder instead. <laughs> But this looks good. What was so what were you going make, for? I then don't... I had to make it into Joseph's coat. So, right. Okay. Um, but this is what I was going for. Ooh. Now, please explain this. So I used the masking paper. Right. Um, I used the diorama dies ah. for each one of these and did a different colour. Yeah. Then I did another... So you used it like the dioramas were like this cut Correct, out and yeah. then you sponge. Correct. Yep. Then I made another, um, I used the speckled dies to make a mask. Mm -hmm. Then over the top of that, I put the new masks. They're those dots. Ah, I wondered how you did the mask on the inside. Yeah. And then ah. over the top of that, I did the white emboss. Wow, that's very But clever. that's exactly what I was looking for. So. Very, very clever. So I used, yeah, basically five different colours. Yeah, or and lots colors. of ma different types of masking. Yeah. And over the top, like I did the over the top, mm. so I did one colour at a time, took it off, then another colour, then took, took it, it off. off. So you can uh -huh. see that they, when they mix together, they give a different colour. That's really cool. So anyway, um, yeah. And I it took a long time, didn't it? It did, yeah. Yeah. But I think, yeah, if you want to have a little bit of a challenge, you know, sometimes it's good to just try. Like you saw me doing my trial and error. Were you, were you commenting in the other room, Bruno? Were you like, no! I was like, it's back to front. <laughs> it's the other way. It's back to front. But because there's a delay, I'm like... Mm. I should wear my watch every live. <laughs> because there's a delay, though, yes. like it's 30 seconds or so and you've already stamped it. And, and I was like, already sponging oh, it. It's back to front. It's back to front. Hey, I'm happy so to laugh at myself. This turned out so good, but a variation, yes. I think, yes. is that the birds, yeah. you stamp the birds first. Right. Or... You put the mask on first, right? Then you put the um, the no the bottom masks. Mm -hmm. Then you put the bird mask, and it sits on the ledge, so it looks like ah. it's sitting. Then you peel this mask off. Then you stamp in yeah. the hole with the tail hanging over the top. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that would be very nice, actually, like where the tail still yeah, yeah, follows. Yeah, 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 but That's was, a good point. Like, as you were doing this, I'm like, how is this going to look? But then when you were doing it, I'm mm. like, oh, wow. Because yeah. initially I was like, well, you could just put a mm. um, a cut die-cut image over the top, but mm. I love that this is just one One piece. layer. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true, because you could just stick it down. But I think that's the, you know, I love cards where you're like, how, How did, did you that, do yeah. that? Like, I love something that makes you, you can't, think. Because you can't see any sweet no. sorbet over there, so that would yeah. look really good. Yeah. No, it was a bit of fun, and it's good for a... Bit of fun. A bit of fun and a oh bit of a goodness, challenge. Oh, my goodness, everyone. You should see the background here. <laughs> the crafts are my... Hey, I did a tiny tiny. It's actually better oh, okay. than it was. <laughs> He's like, Hi, okay, <laughs> tell yourself that. But I do want to add a couple of these. Ooh, look at this one. I think these might be the colour. Ooh, which one do we do? <gasps> They're so pretty. 
and they've got like a real sparkle to them. I think I'm going to go Starry Sky. I think that's what this colour is. We need to add our, I need to add the colours on here. I'm going to write them on. Maybe I can label them and just add it on. This is a good point someone raised before. It's like I just want the colours on there. So I'm just going to pick this up and we'll do, we'll just guesstimate. I do like to have a larger one and then a small one. And then we'll do a little smaller one down here. Yeah, think over this side next to the hello. Just for a bit of fun. I think it just, you know, brings in those colours. Even this one here is really pretty if you wanted like more or softer. And you could even do in the background if you do, you know, a different colour. I think whatever colour that gap is there is the colour that you can use for the background. Now I'll pop that back because Brit will be like, um, excuse me, it needs to go back in its little sleeve, which is good because then everything gets kept together. Whose sleeve's this? Oh, this is this one. <laughs> Who do you belong to? <laughs> oh, they're all packed up. <laughs> and these big ones here, because we store them in our um, clear cases, I don't know where the sleeve for this one's gone. I have to find a new one. <laughs> but we fold it. We folded it because then it fits into our clear case so that it's all together. So there you go, everyone. Lots and lots of samples with masking, lots of ideas. And I'd love to try this as well, you know, just doing some sponging direct onto the paper. But we could, we kind of did, I did show you that using that. So, yeah. Lots and lots of masking ideas. We've gone from simple to quite complex down the bottom. Um, so yeah, I think it's I think it's good. I really, really love these bathers and lots of ideas using the other stamps too. So let's take a little picky together. I feel like this is a little bit crooked, so I'm just gonna fix this because it's driving a bit insane it's so weird I'm like OCD in some things and some things I'm just like eh, whatever <laughs> how is that possible <laughs> so let's do I think we'll do these two because they were the two that we made today together and then we can show the masking yay very cute you happy everyone I'm very happy with these Yes, my first masking experience because I haven't actually played with masking before. So you got to see it in real life, like legit. It was happening before your eyes. I had a bit of a play last night before I went to bed, but I haven't done the double masking before. Yeah. So thank you all very much for being here. Thanks for shopping with the love it chop it mugs too and pins we saw all of them come through so knowing bruno he's already packed them all because that's how he how he rolls he's amazing and i hope you enjoy your week um miss you already oh my goodness two and a half hours thank you to all of you that stayed around the whole time <sighs> epic amazing Oh, it was a lovely couple of hours hanging out with you all. You get to hang out, have fun together. Oh, thanks, Denise. Thank you, Tanya. And big hugs to all of you. Yes, enjoy your weekend and hope you get some crafting in there. Hopefully we've inspired you to get your crafting out. And remember the amazing joining special if you're not already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's a great opportunity. And also, if you want to go shopping for brand new products that I've used today, um, please feel free if you live in Australia and you've enjoyed our um, video today, then we'd love you to go for a shop. And remember that you get the um, tutorial bundle, you get loyalty vouchers, and you also get a free card making course as well. So if you want to check out the card making course information, um, I'll put here card making course 
and anyone's welcome to get that one because I review all of the new products and um, put lots of tutorials and ideas up there and I've also paid other people to do some classes as well so it's a great little course that we keep updating and putting new new classes on there so check that out oh thank you all big hugs Susan feels happy now I'm so happy <laughs> I actually thought of you Susan it would be very very nice with the tea stamp set which is your favorite sweet um, I think that that would look amazing done with the tea cups. So I'd love to see you do that if you want to have a go. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Mwah! Big hugs. Please share. Please subscribe. And we shall see you next week for another video. Bye. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye.